today in this room with the members of parliament from our continent, IMF, World Bank, and different partners. Most people would agree that the low levels of bureaucracy, an independent judiciary, good roads, a functioning education system, and many other things that you all know are parts of good business enabling environment. And therefore, as members of parliament, as IMF, as World Bank, for the SME development take place in East Africa, we have to recognize, we have to realize that Africa has the fastest growing and most youthful population in the world. And today, I'll be hinting so much about what young people can do and what they are able to do. I know most of you, especially the politicians, the members of parliament, you've used the young people, you've convinced the young people, you've mobilized the young people to join your political parties. I know you've done that a lot. We need to triple that energy to mobilize the young people to embrace entrepreneurship, to embrace business. My other second point, which is really, which I speak from the bottom of my heart, are education reforms. Low levels of education are still widespread in Africa. As legislators, policy makers, we need to shift from the knowledge of best education system to practical modern education. We must make those policies to shift from job seekers to training job creators. We need to produce problem solvers and not philosophers and white collar job managers. This is where Africa is going. In the 21st century, when the Europeans are traversing the moon, we should be ashamed as African people that we are still teaching our young people about the scramble and partition of Africa. We must reform our education and stop teaching our children helpless historical propaganda. The world is moving at a science. We must be compliant. We must change. My last point is on enhancing good governance. Simplification of business registration processes in our different nations. Members of parliament, we ask you this. We ask you to do this in Africa. One of the causes of corruption in Africa is a complicated and a bureaucratic service delivery process in the private sector. Unfortunately, the registration process of businesses and the entry of process new businesses in African economies is one of the victims to bureaucracy. And therefore, honorary members, I want to request you, like any other businessman, like I would admit, for us to go on, a highly bureaucratic process creates multiple contacts, and this increases possibilities of bribery to quicken service delivery. As a career businessman, I must admit that trying to circumvent procedure by bribing officials is a rational behavior for business owners if associated costs are lower than the associated with the former compliance. Thank you so much. A clap for Nelson, please. He speaks for the youth. And they are saying that in the Inspire Africa, they are actually trying to nurture talents so that our youth will have an entrepreneurial mind that early. And then they will also have a mind that is innovative, yes? But then he poses a question. There are challenges on how to start business. The, the usual challenges of business startups. And this now he has thrown out the challenge to members of parliament. The vigor with which you can use the youth to campaign for you, you can also use the same 
to the same vigor to ensure at least to have policies for the youth to start off their business.